What's going on guys, welcome back to part 14 of building Netflix app from scratch using Swift 5 in UIKit. In this part, we're going to talk about data persistence in iOS, or basically core data. Core data can get tricky at first, and I myself had a hard time at first when I started learning it. But in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a really good introductory on the topic, and I'm pretty sure that this tutorial will give you a good start in the process of learning about core data. And also, if this video got 100 likes, I will start a new series focusing mainly on core data. So without further ado, let's just dive in and open up Xcode. So as you can see here, I'm in my home view controller. And let me just build and run this project one more time. So let me demonstrate something. Basically, we can click on any title over here and it will take us directly to the detail preview controller where we can view some uh, information about the title, like the overview of the title itself, and we can also watch the trailer. But actually, we don't have any way of downloading the title so that it can get into this tab. So basically, this is what we're going to be doing. So let me just go to the collection view, table view cell, and scroll down at the bottom over here. So basically, I'm just going to implement one more function. And basically, this function is going to be called collection view context menu configuration for item at yeah this is a very long name for a function but this is basically what we're going to be using for downloading the title so let me start by defining this so let config and that is going to be ui context menu configuration and we're going to be using the default constructor over here so let me just have those um parameters on just one line so that it can be easier to read so for the identifier, I'm going to be passing nil. For the preview provider, I'm going to be passing nil as well. And I'm going to hit return or enter on this. So basically, let me just pass nothing in this function. And over here, I'm just going to um, initialize my actions. So basically, let me have a download action. And that is going to be UI action and that is going to be defined with this so basically for the title i'm just gonna be passing download all right so for the subtitle nil image nil identifier nil discoverability title and that also gonna be nil and here's the best part about it so the attributes we can just delete it we can just forget about it we don't need that and for the state i'm gonna say off and for the handler, let me just pass in here for now. So basically, download tapped. All right, so basically, we just need to exit above this. So let me just return a UI menu. And I'm just going to uh, be passing this. So um, for the title, I'm going to be passing an empty string. For the image, nil, identifier, nil. And for the options, that is going to be a display in line. And for the children, I'm going to have an array in which we are going to be passing the download actions or basically if we have more than actions over here. All right. So let me just before I exit this um, method, I just need to return the configuration. I believe uh, I messed up in here. So return config. And basically that's it so let me just hit build and run i believe i don't have any errors yeah that is correct and now let me just try that so let me just long tap on spider-man over here and as you can see here this cool animation uh which blurs the background behind the title and if i clicked on or tapped actually on download you can see here it's on the console download tapped so basically right now we have a way so that we can actually tell the app that we want to download something all right so now let's just dive in inside um, the basics of core data um, before i do so actually i just need to um, make this like uh, a little bit better to read and uh, okay so let me just follow me over here so basically i'm going to be defining a new function so basically that is going to be a private func and i'm going to call that function download title at and I'm gonna say here index path and that is going to be of type index path all right and basically over here I'm just going to call that function from down there so let me just type in here um, basically uh, weak self so weak self 
and here I'm just gonna be typing self optional download title add I'm gonna be passing the index path path over here so um, right here I can just go to the download title add and I can say print downloading and I'm gonna be uh, accessing the titles over here with the index path dot row and over here I can just say like the original title let me just hit build and run one more time so that I can make sure that everything seems to be working fine uh, all right so long press on the spider-man download and I can as you can see here downloading uh, that is going to be an optional string, which is basically Spider-Man. So basically, we have now a clean way for downloading things. So now let me just talk about a little, a little more about core data. So um, let me just hit uh, File, New, um, Project. And um, yeah, don't worry about it. We're not going to be uh, creating a whole new project from the start. So let me just choose that Swift. And as you can see here, basically, we have an option, which is basically use core data. Some of you all might be thinking, well, when we started this project, we haven't actually uh, checked this uh, use core data. So basically, we need this inside our project. So how do we add core data to an existing project that was initialized without core data? Basically, uh, we're going to be making this as a test project. All right. And we're going to be clicking on that. We're not going to be talking a bit uh, in this video about CloudKit. Um, maybe in the future tutorials, but let's for now check use core data and I'm going to be tossing this project maybe on the desktop for now. All right. So yeah, replace that because I already had one with the same name. And as you can see here, basically we have test project file, which is basically a model for our database. And also if you looked inside the app delegate, basically you're going to see here core data is imported. And if you scroll down, basically you're going to be seeing two um, variables or two functions over here, basically the persistent container and also the save context. I'm going to be talk a little bit more about this, but for now, let me just copy the entire thing from here. So basically from the mark that says core data stack, I'm going to be copying everything down to the bottom. I'm going to be closing this project. We're not going to be using that project ever again. So let's just go back to our project, which is going to be the app uh, that we're going to be <laughs> that we're going to be built here, which is basically Netflix loan. Um, let me just go to app delegate and move down here and let me just paste that. So right now we just need to create a new. Um, all right. So what do I have here? So uh, yeah, that was uh, basically outside the class. So yeah, make sure that you know you don't get outside this class. Um, all right, so maybe I forgot one. Uh, all right, let me just hit build and run. Yeah, everything seems to be working. All right, so I believe something is wrong in here. Yeah, I actually got this error because I forgot to import core data and I'm not going to be cutting or um, editing this video because I want you guys to see the problems that I face um, basically when I implement or add core data to a project that hasn't been initialized uh, previously with core data. So as you can see here, basically we have imported core data and also we uh, pasted the safe context method and also the persistent container. And we're going to be talking a, a lot more about those. But let me just continue, you know, configuring core data inside the app. So let me just hit file new or basically I just need to make sure that I'm in my root directory. Let me just right click on here, new file and scroll down until you see the core data section. And I'm going to be choosing data model. All right. So this data model, I'm going to be calling that maybe Netflix clone model and a very basic name. And as you can see here, let me just go back to the app delegate and I'm going to make sure that this name over here matches this one. So Netflix clone model. So I'm going to be calling this Netflix clone. And you know, it's case sensitive. All right, so let me just talk a little bit more about the persistent container and the safe context. 
Um, basically, some of um, some of people, some some of the people actually in the community uh, called this as a context manager, and basically this is gonna be a uh, variable which is gonna be holding the persistent container, or maybe you can say the database itself. So basically, this is the place where uh, we store our data. And basically, this is the context manager or basically the manager um, who is responsible for taking the data from us and committing those changes or actually inserting this data inside the database. So here is how it goes. Let me just go um, to Netflix clone model over here. And basically, I'm going to be creating a new entity. All right, so um, you can just add, press on add entity at the bottom right here. And as you can see here, basically we have an entity. I'm gonna be changing that name maybe to title item. All right, and basically we have attributes and data types. And if that looks familiar, basically it's something like the models that we have for the title over here. So basically for the title, we have some attributes and we have the data types. Um, basically, I'm going to be copying these uh, into this uh, model that I have over here. So let me just make like a new tab. I believe I can open both of those like um, side by side. So let me just, um, yeah, I did that by hitting Command T. So um, yeah, that's not possible, I guess. So, all right, so for now, let me just hit um, on the plus um, symbol right here or the plus sign over here. So let me just start by typing original underscore name and that is going to be string. All right, so also I have original title and that is going to be a string as well. So basically I'm just copying the model over here. So I'm gonna be fast forwarding this part inside the video so I don't waste your time. All right, so as you can see here, basically I have the ID which was um, integer inside my uh, struct over here. So basically I chose the type uh, to be integer 64. And yeah, please choose integer 64 because I believe if you chose something uh, below this, that might give you an error. So basically that is going to be having like enough space to hold the uh, the ID which has been uh, stored inside the structure over here. Media type, that is going to be a string, original name string, original title, overview, poster path, um, release date, vote average, that is going to be a double because I believe that is going to be having like a decimal point. And for the vote count, I believe it's also an integer. So basically we have that. And also I just wanna make sure that we have this um, file or this model um, available to access across Xcode. So let me just hit Command B to build the um, the application. And I'm going to be um, searching for the title that we have over here, basically title item. And I'm going to see here if that is accessible from uh, from the project itself. So let me just go to maybe the collection table view cell. And over here, let me just make sure that, that this is accessible. So title item, and as you can see here, it's not so. Um, sometimes Xcode um, does this, so it's normal. So we can just close Xcode over here. Yes, yeah, stop tasks and just open Xcode once again. And I believe that is going to work. Um, so let me just go back to the collection table view cell and let me just type in here title item and as you can see here basically now Xcode sees the um, the type that we have made inside the Netflix clone model that we have over here. All right, so what do we want to do right now? Basically, before we start making anything to um, core data, I'm going to be going to the managers over here because I just wanted you to learn the the clean way actually of implementing core data. So let me just create a new Swift file and I'm going to be calling that uh, maybe um, data persistence manager. All right, so basically that class is going to be responsible for 
downloading the data and also to uh, to work and talk to core data API because we don't want actually to talk to core data API from within the class that we're using for viewing the collection view cell itself. This is not solid principle. So I'm going to be using this data persistent manager. So let me just say class. I'm going to be copying this name basically. Yeah, I like that name actually. So um, data persistence manager. And he, right here, let me just type static, let shared. I'm gonna be creating like a shared instance across the app. So um, yes, that we have here. And right now, let me just define a new function. I'm gonna be called that function, um, maybe download um, title with model. And that model, I believe is going to be a title. All right, so let me just type that right. So basically, this is what we're going to be doing. So basically, we're going to be downloading a title with model that is going to be passed from inside the collection table view cell. And also, I want to have like a completion handler over here. So completion that is going to be escaping. And basically, we want to return a result and that result should have like a void all right um and also um error if an error happens and that closure should return like a void at the end so basically that's what this is what we're going to be implementing right here so right now we just need to have our context manager be able to insert the data that we want or basically the data that we get from the model here inside the database so basically it's just a two-step process first of all we tell the um the model or basically the context manager that we want to save something and we tell it exactly what we're going to be saving inside our database and then tell the context api or the context manager hey all right this is the data that we have been telling you please store that data inside our database so first of all we just need to have a reference to the api um, persistent container over here and also the uh the save context manager so let me just go back to the data persistence all right so let me just type guard let because this is going to be an optional so let me just type app delegate and that is going to be ui application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate else we're going to be returning all right so i forgot else so um yeah let me just type else over here and over here i'm going to be returning so right now i have like an instance or basically a reference to the app delegate and over here i just need to uh have the context as well so um let context and that is going to be um app delegate dot um resistant container dot view context basically those are the two lines that we need to be able to talk to the context manager all right so basically we just need to import core data over here so that we're going to be able to use core data and over here i'm just going to create a new item so basically let item and this item is what we're going to be storing inside our database so let item and that is going to be um title item and we're just gonna choose this one with the context and we're gonna pass the context over here. So basically uh, we are going to, um, to create a title item with the uh, supervision of the context manager over here. So if this is the most simple way that you can think about it. So, hey, context manager, we are creating a title item under your supervision. So please note that. So, okay, so we right now have an item. And over here, uh, we can just say original title, and that is going to be model dot original title. And basically, uh, we're going to populate all of the um, all of the attributes over here. So item ID that is going to be model dot ID item dot uh, what is uh, else? So original name model dot original name item dot uh, overview model dot overview i hope that is making sense to you guys because 
uh, yeah, core data is not that simple to wrap your head around. Um, and basically, yeah, we can see here like an error because uh, we're converting from an integer to integer 64, but that could be fixed easily. So basically, we're just going to make um, int 64 and pass the model ID over here. Um, let's just go and uh, implement the other things. So um, what else? So media type, and that is going to be model.media type item dot poster path. All right, so model the poster path. Um, two, three, four, five, six. I believe we have three left. So item dot release date model dot release date item dot vote count. Yeah, the account average or the vote average. Yeah, model dot uh, vote count item dot um, all right. So average, yeah, vote average that is going to be model vote average as well so basically as you can see here we have uh everything when it comes to the um saving the data so yeah let me just uh replace that as well so basically we uh we created like a title item that should be um saved inside the database and we created this with the supervision of the context manager now the context manager needs or basically it's just waiting for us to order uh, that we want actually to save the title item inside the database. So let me just do that. So context and we're gonna say save. And basically that is going to throw an error. So basically we're just gonna wrap this inside the do catch block. So um, yeah, let me just say try, All right, context.save. And for the catch block, I'm gonna say print error dot localized description. I believe that is it. Um, all right, so let me just hit build and run. Yeah, that is succeeded. And basically, if we manage to save the data over here, let me just um, say okay completion. All right, so basically, we just need to pass something over here. All right, so basically we're just gonna pass the result. So the result is success. And as you can see here, basically we are expecting void to be passed, but how are we gonna be uh, passing void? This is gonna be tricky because we can't just type void. This is a type name, not, not like a data itself. Well, the best part about Swift, it's just really, really simple. We just need to pass an empty something. So basically we're gonna be passing like an empty parentheses over here so as you can see here basically once we are done saving the data we are just going to pass the completion to the um or basically the success case to the completion and over here uh once we print the function i can just you know instead of printing the error over here i can just say completion will dot failure and for the error actually i can just you know be smart about it so let me just go up here and make an enum and that is going to be like um, a download or basically a database error and that is going to be getting from error as well and we have here a case let me just call that failed to save data and let me pass that word over here so um, database error dot fail to save data and now uh, everything looks clean and um, now we have one thing to do with which is basically uh, fetching the data back from the server uh, but we're gonna be doing this later so let me just make sure that this is working so let me just go to collection table view cell and over here so since we are downloading a title so let me just say data persistent manager share dot download title uh, with model so basically the model itself is going to be titles all right at index path dot row and for the completion and look how clean is that actually so basically we have result we're going to be switching on result all right so switch result and in case of success all right so we don't um, have anything over here so let me just say print 
downloaded to database and in case of the failure we can just print the error so case failure and we have an error over here passed from the data persistence manager so error and please write here like print failed or basically yeah we have an error why should be just like localized description for the error and that's it so basically let me build the um the project right here and let me say well we want to like download spider-man uh long tab on spider-man uh press download and as you can see here download to database so that means actually that we have successfully um implemented everything correctly and now um our title is inside our database now it's just a matter of fetching those or fetching that title again so basically uh what do i want to do basically when i tap on the download i just need this to be reflected on in my downloads manager over here or the downloads tab so before we do anything inside of here let me just go to the upcoming view controller i'm gonna be scrolling up in here um yeah maybe i'm gonna be copying this so um title and the yeah the title basically the configuration for the title so um let me just go in here say downloads all right let me hit build and run and let me go to the download tab and yes basically that is basically what we're going to be getting and also we need to implement like a simple table view and that is going to be really really simple because we're going to be copying everything from the upcoming view controller so basically let me just um have that in here and um, yeah private yeah basically private let instead of upcoming table maybe we can say download the table and over here i'm gonna say download the table dot delegate is gonna be equal to self download table dot data source that is going to be equal to self as well and before um like waiting for xcode to throw any error inside of here so download view controller that is going to conform to ui table view delegate and also ui table view data source all right so number of table uh, rows i believe we're going to be actually copying everything from the upcoming view controller i'm not i'm not sure why i did that at the first place so we're going to have this and that and that and also yeah basically those three functions so let me just um paste that in here and basically we're gonna have this uh yell at us but because we don't actually have titles and basically we're gonna be creating that over here so private let titles and that is going to be an array but instead of an array of title i'm just gonna be having like array of title item because that is going to be fetched directly from the database all right so um yeah let's just do this to be a var instead of title or instead of constant to be act to be exact and title item and i'm going to be initializing that array over here so we don't have any error inside the function or inside that class so what do we need to do right now basically we need to fetch the data from the database and basically we're going to be implementing that function inside of the data persistence as well so basically let me just go in here all right and i'm going to be calling a new function which is going to be um fetching titles from database all right and that should like give me a completion so completion all right and that is going to be escaping as well and i'm just going to return like an array or basically a result and that result should have like something like an array of title item and also an error and that closure itself is going to be giving me like a void so basically when we call that function we are expecting to get an array of title item so what do we need to talk to the 
context manager again basically the same thing over and over here basically we just need to have this copied um some of y'all might be asking well you are just copying and pasting well maybe this is just two lines code uh it's not that big a deal actually so right now we just need to talk again with the context manager because this manager is the only one responsible or the only one authorized to access the database inside our app so we need to address the context manager politely and hence we're going to be making a request for that context manager so let me just type let request and that is going to be an ns fetch request and that is going to take the type of the data that we're going to be querying from the database so basically let me just type title item all right so basically this is going to be the type of the request that we're gonna be using and now let me just type request dot title item dot fetch request so basically we now have our request ready to be executed or basically ready to be dispatched for the context manager so now we just need to dispatch the request for uh, the database context manager so basically we're just gonna be doing that inside of a do catch block because accessing the database inside the app and you might be um, not be able to actually find your request there that might throw an error so for now at least let me just print error dot localized description but let me just go in here basically we are asking the context manager would you please access the database with our request and what is my request basically i'm just going to fetch some title item so basically let's do let's do that so let me just try to convince the manager so that he can like access the database so we're going to be saying try like context dot fetch and please fetch the database with the request that we have over here and i believe that you're going to be uh getting us back like some titles and those titles are basically i'm just going to pass those back to you know um the result that i have over here so basically uh let me say let and if in case of success i'm just expecting to have like a title item which is basically what we have over here and for the catch that might be an error so basically we're just going to say completion dot failure and over here i'm just going to pass the same um operation or i'm sorry the same error that we initialized earlier so maybe um database error dot fail to save data or basically we can just have like another case so case failed all right so fail to fetch data and i can actually pass that over here so fail to fetch data so right now we have our um fetching request done so let me just go back to the download controller over here and basically i just need to like make a new function so yeah basically we are creating multiple functions in this tutorial so private func fetch local storage for downloads and that is a mouthful um name for a method but you know it's pretty much describing what it does so let me just say data persistence dot share dot download no not the download actually i'm just going to fetch uh, or basically fetching titles from database and when you get the result i'm gonna be switching on the result one more time so basically in case of success i'm gonna be having like titles that is going to be um basically uh assigned to my you know titles over here so let me just have like a weak reference so that we don't uh, be prone to any memory leak so weak self and over here i'm going to be saying self dot titles that is going to be equal to titles and also i just need to reload my um table view so let me just say like um self dot table view or download yeah download the table and that is going to be reloaded 
I believe that's it for the success. Let me just go in here for the failure. I'm gonna have the error and I'm gonna be printing the error just like normal and like what we've been doing since the beginning of the program. Um, basically, I'm just going to call that function over here. So basically fetch local storage for download. And before I run this app, I might be uh, like, I don't want you guys to like run the app and don't see anything on the screen because we haven't actually laid down the uh, title uh, or basically the download table. So let me just say lay down. Yeah, view did layout sub views, super view did layout sub views, download the table frame that is going to be viewed bounds. And I believe that is going to be working. And remember, in the last time that we have run our app, so basically we have downloaded Spider Man. So I believe when I click on downloads, yeah, basically, there's nothing in here. So um, yeah, let me see what did I miss. So okay. Um, yeah, let's just do that again. So replace. So, um, let me just download Spider Man download. And since it's downloaded to the database, so I can go to the downloads, I don't see anything. So let me just close the app, open the app one more time, and go to downloads, I still don't see anything over here. And let me see actually why do I have something like this. So let me just debug this really, really quick. So let me just make sure that I'm here. So all right, so okay, we are here, we have everything over there. So I believe that we need to dispatch, you know, uh, this inside like um, a synchronous or on the main thread to be exact. So dispatch Q dot main dot async. And we are just going to get that over here. All right, so let me just hit build and run. Let me see you. If I do have it, um, I still don't have it. I don't see any reasons why we shouldn't actually have it. So let me just debug this really, really quick. Oh, how silly I am. So basically, we forgot actually to add the table view inside of here. So view dot add sub view download table and I believe that is going to work. So let me just go to downloads. And as you can see here, basically, we have Spider Man downloaded twice. So um, yeah, so basically, we just need actually to implement one more function inside the data persistence, which is going to be a delete function. So let me just implement that function really quick. So let me just type func delete title with model. And that is going to be a title item this time. And over here, I'm just going to say I just need a completion as well that is going to be escaping. And that is just going to give me like um, the same result that I had. Alright, so the result is going to be um, void and error. Alright, so basically, this is going to be the function that I'm going to get a title item over here. So I just need to have like the same reference for the app delegate and the um, database manager. So let me just have that. So um, I'm going to be asking the uh, data manager or basically the database manager, hey, context, please delete object. And that is going to be the model. And over here, I'm just going to do a catch block so that I can commit those uh, changes inside my database. So right here, I'm just asking the database manager to delete certain um, object. And over here, I'm just saying, okay, confirm deletion. So basically, let me just type try context.save. And over here, the completion is just going to be success, which is basically going to be a void again. And for the catch, I'm just going to say completion dot failure. And let me just pass a new error over here. So case failed to delete data. And let me pass that over here. So basically database error dot failed to delete data. Basically, that's it. 
All right, let me just delete that comment. I don't need that. Do you understand that? So um, let me just go to my collection table view cell over here and let me implement one more function. And that function is going to allow us actually to delete something from a table. And that function should be called like commit, I believe. So let me just say, yeah, that's not right. So um, yeah, I believe it's in the download controller. I'm really sorry about that. So um, that is going to be commit editing style. So I'm just going to switch on the editing style and case delete. So basically, if the user is attempting to delete an item, basically, I just need first to remove that from the table. So table view. All right, so remove or delete, I believe. So delete rows at uh, index paths. So this is going to be an array of index path. And for the animation, I'm just going to say like fade, I believe that's the one. And over here, I just need to delete that from the um, from the database itself. So let me just say data persistence manager share dot delete title with the model of titles. All right, so that is going to be index path dot row. And for the completion, I'm just going to say switch on the result case success. Basically, I don't get anything. So print deleted from the database. And over here for the failure, so failure, let me get the error. And again, print error dot localized description. I believe that is going to be working. So um, all right, so yeah, we just need to have like another case uh, after the delete over here. So basically, that is going to be default. And for the default, I just need to break, I don't need to do anything else. So um, basically, let me just replace and hit build and run. Let me see that myself. So basically, I have two instances of Spider Man over here. So let me just, you know, use that. And I can see here that I'm getting an error. All right. So invalid number of rows. So yeah, I might be, you know, like um, making something before something. So let me just go back to the download controller. And I'm just going to delete that row after actually I like um, removed that from the database. So let me just hit build and run one more time. And I believe that is going to work. So all right. So all right. So right now I know the error. Basically, we forgot actually to remove that as well from the titles array over here. So let me just say um, titles dot remove at and I'm just going to pass in the index path the row. I believe that is going to work. Uh, yeah, we just need to have like a weak reference for the titles. So weak self. And over here, I'm just going to say self, which is going to be an optional self. Let me hit build and run one more time. And I believe that is going to work. Uh, basically, yeah, we just need to Yeah, basically, this is just ridiculous. So let me just go back to download view controller. Let me just um, try to do this first. So, um, okay, I'm just going to remove that from the array and then delete that from the table. Uh, I don't have anything over here. So let me just download that one more time. It's not there yet. I'm just going to fix that really quick. And then uh, let me just open the app one more time. We have Spider Man. Let me just delete that. And yes, this is working. So basically, this is the uh, way that we are going to be deleting things. So basically, we're just deleting it from the database once and for all. And first, we're just going to remove the title from the array itself, then from the table view itself. So now we have a problem. Basically, whenever we um, download something in here, basically, we just need to uh, have something that notifies the download um, controller to actually fetch or basically reload itself so that it, you know, when you tab download inside the home view controller, it's already there in the download tab. So basically, this is what we're going to be doing right now using something called the notification center. And that has nothing to do with the notification center on your device. Basically, that is pure swift thing. 
So basically, um, we're just, you know, we're, we're, I'm just going to show you how that works. So um, let me just go back to my, um, all right, so collection table view cell. And over here, once I'm done with downloading to database, so let me just go in here in case of the success. And over here, I'm just going to say notification center dot, uh, I believe, default. And here, I'm just going to post uh, a notification. So let me just do that. So post. All right. So basically, let me just put, post a notification. I'm really sorry. So post a notification with a name. So um, NS notification name. So I'm just going to pass in here something like downloaded. So basically, I'm just going to post uh, a downloaded notification across the app. And over here, I'm just going to pass nil. I don't need to pass anything else. So whenever the title is downloaded, I'm just going to notify everyone who is listening to that notification. So I have completed my download or basically downloaded. All right. So over here inside the download view controller, I just need um, to do this. So basically, I just need to listen for the changes that happens. So let me just say notification center dot default dot add observer. And for the observer, I'm just going to listen for the same name or of the notification that I posted, which is basically downloaded. All right. And for the object, I'm going to be passing nil, Q nil, and for the method that I'm going, or basically the method that I'm going to uh, trigger, so basically that is going to be self dot, all right, and that is going to be um, fetch local storage, and basically that's it. I believe we need to make a weak reference, or yeah, that is okay, I believe. So, um, yeah, I believe that is okay. So let me just hit build and run and let me see if I do actually have it. So right now I don't have anything inside my downloads. So let me just try to download Spider-Man one more time, download over here. And when I, I, and here we go, boom, whenever I go to downloads, I have Spider-Man is waiting for me. Uh, we can just try anything else. So maybe the matrix, so let me just download that and let me just go in here. Boom, we have the matrix as well. So basically, um, I have everything set up. I just need to have like a handler for that as well. So let me just go back to my upcoming and for the did select a row, I'm going to be copying everything from here. I'm going to go to the download controller. Let me just paste that over here hit build and run and I believe that is going to work. So downloads, we have Spider-Man, let me just click on it. And I believe that is going to take me directly to the um, to the preview controller that we have over here. So I guess this is going to be the last video of this series. It's been too long. And if you've been following this series up till now, I can't thank you enough because you've been like a huge supporter for me. So once again, thank you so much, guys. I believe this is going to be the end of this series. So again, thank you so much for sticking around. If you liked what you just saw, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel because that is going to be helping me big time. And hit that like button, you know, that is going to help me as well with the YouTube algorithm. And let me just catch you in the next tutorials or maybe in the next series to be exact. So once again, that was on. Please have a good day and stay safe.